Kosuda, in a Gosa, from a Kefrode, Kefrada Hasa. Somebody pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Holy Bakoso, Kotoko Palata, and the Kopala to Sukrovetesi. Pray in the Holy Ghost, somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. We love you, Jesus. Wherever you are this afternoon or whatever time it is where you are, I'd like you to just focus on Jesus right now. Today is the day of the Holy Ghost. And I tell you, the power of God is here with us. His presence fills our lives. And right where you are, the glory and the presence of God is with you there, right there where you are. I'd like you to free yourself from any distraction and just focus because God wants to do something special in your life today. Something special. Today is the third day of this, you know, intercessory prophetic worship service. And I know that God has been good to you. I know that there are things that God has done. I know some of you had special divine encounters. Some of you have been healed. Something happened to you. And I want you to share that testimony. I want you to share that testimony. I want you to, to just, you know, put it on the comment section. I have a testimony. The technical team will reach out to you so that towards the end of these brokers, we can have you live in the studio sharing your testimony. So just do that. Do that. You have a testimony of what God has done for you. I'd like you to put it on, on the comment section. I have a testimony. They will reach out to you and then they will bring you up you know, towards the end of the broadcast too, to share your testimony live here in the studio. Right now, everyone, lift up your hands. Let's bless Jesus. We love you, Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. 
Lift up your hands and call him Lord this morning. Every year, shout out. Every tongue, confess that Jesus Christ. You are high. Your voice and call hallelujah, shout it loud. Hallelujah. 
Lift up your hands wherever you are and your voice in gratitude. In your own expression, I'd like you to bless him. His presence is mighty in this place. Bless his name. Magnify him. And throne him, God. There is none like him. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love, we love you, Jesus. The scripture says, Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. Psalm 89, verse 15. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. He said, They shall walk, O oh God. In the light of your countenance. A joyful sound is a sound of praise. It's a sound of glory and honor. Reverence to God. Those who know how to worship. Those who know how to praise. And honor God with their, with their life. They walk in the light of God's countenance. In other words, God smiles on them. God smiles on you when you know how to worship, when you stand in the place of honor and glory. To you. He smiles on you. And can I say this to somebody? When God smiles on you, it doesn't matter who is frowning. You just keep rising. The frown of man or the frowning of circumstances and situations do not matter. When God smiles on you, God is smiling on us this morning. God is smiling on you this morning. So lift up your two hands to Him. Lift up your two hands to Him. Oh, power is in your hands. Hell should I? Oh, hello. There is no the God like you, Adonai. All power is in your hands. El Shaddai, oh Elohim, Elohim. There is no other God like you, Adonai. Usha. Say 
is the ability of God at work in us. The Holy Spirit is the power of God to do the will of God. The Holy Spirit is all that we need to fulfill the will of the Father. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Is the spirit of truth. For it is the truth that sets free. The truth sets free. And the spirit of God is that spirit of freedom. Is the spirit of truth. When he opens to you, when you when he brings you to revelation of the truth of God's word and will for you, then there is the enforcement of your freedom and liberty. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth that is necessary for your freedom. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. So God gave us the Holy Ghost so that we can be free from destruction. Because he opens up to us, he opens up to us the heart of the Father. He shows us the will of God. He says, I will teach you in the way which thou shalt go. He teaches us, he leads us, he, he guides us. Yes. This, this moment, I'd like you to receive the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Jesus says in John chapter 16, verse 13. He said, I'll be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will show you things to come. All to glorify the Father. He is the spirit of truth. I see the spirit of truth released right now. Revelation understanding Amen. of the will of the Father. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of life. He is the spirit of life. John chapter 6 verse 63. The Bible says it is the spirit that giveth life. The flesh profited nothing. He said the word that I speak to you they are spirit and they are life. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of life. And when the Holy Ghost is on you, when the Holy Ghost is at work in you, whatever is called death loses its power over you. It is not possible for you to have the Holy Ghost alive in you and deteriorate in your health. Because the spirit of God is the spirit of life. His assignment is to attack every death. His assignment is to attack anything that is against your wellness. Anything that is against your soundness. Whether soundness of mind, soundness of your spirit or soundness of your physical body. You know what the scripture says? It says, if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He said, He that raises Jesus from the dead shall quicken your mortal body. He will give life to your mortal body by the same spirit. Life to, to your body. The spirit of God is the spirit of life. I proclaim the spirit of life upon everyone watching right now. The spirit of life. The spirit of life. The spirit of life. The, of life. the assignment of the spirit of life is to arrest, is to arrest every death, every death situation. The spirit of life is released. The spirit of life is released. I don't care what the diagnosis is. Whether they call it cancer or they call it arthritis or they call it blood disease or whatever. You hear me? Whatever it is. I cause it to the root by the power of the spirit of life. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost.
pray in the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost, what's this? The Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of life. You can't carry him and die. May God so go for the What's this? Number three, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of love. The greatest force in heaven and on earth. The force of love. Because God is love. Who is greater than our God? It means God. It means love is God. If God is love, love is God. And the Holy Ghost is the spirit of love. It's the spirit of love. Anything else can fail. Anything else can fail, but love never fails. I like to say this to somebody here listening. One of the passion of God is for lovers. God is looking for lovers. God is looking for lovers. I mean, those who love Him. With all of their hearts, with all of their spirit, with all of their soul, what God is looking for is love from you. The reason is because He gave you love. The Bible says God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. He gave you love. He is seeking your response back. Your love response. If you want to see the glory of God, you want to see the power of God, you want to see the reality of God at work in man, then you need to come to the place of love. Love for God and love for people. Love for God. Love for God. And I want you to understand that the Holy Ghost is the spirit of love. He is the spirit of love. He is the spirit of love. The scripture says, and hope make it not ashamed. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. He said, Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of love, and He helps us to love the Father. In fact, He imparts in our hearts love for God and love for people. Love for God. Let me just say this very quickly before we run. Your love for God is confirmed by your love for men. It is not possible for you to love God effectively and sincerely without loving men. Your love for God is confirmed by your love for men. Because the people you see around you, they are the God that you are looking for. Jesus said, in the last day, some will come to me and said, In my name we heal the sick, we raise the dead, and do all manner of miracles. And we tell them, I know you not. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. And then they will come up with their with their with their challenge. They say, Look, Lord, I mean we did all this miracle in your name. And they say, Well, I was sick, you didn't visit me. I was hungry, you didn't feed me. He said, As long as you didn't do it to this list of my brethren, you have not done it to me. What Jesus is saying. Whatever you do to your brother that you see, you are doing it to me. When he appeared to Saul, he didn't say, why persecuted thou my church? He said, why persecuted thou me? On his way to Damascus, Paul, who, who was Saul, encountered God. So your love for God is confirmed by your love for people. And God is love. Holy Ghost is the spirit of love. Will you lift up your hands and receive the spirit of love? We want to pour out our love to God in this service today. The Holy Ghost move in the spirit of love. 
miracles happen when there is love, where there is compassion, where there is sincere passion and interest for others. The Bible says, for ye, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. He says, keep yourself in the love of God. So when you pray in the Holy Ghost, you keep yourself. You establish yourself in the love of God. And then lastly for this moment, the Holy Ghost is the helper of men. That is one of his major ministry to help. You see, God does not just give instruction and walk away. When he asks you to do something, he releases the Holy Ghost. The word of God is the is spirit. So he releases the Holy Ghost. The reason why people struggle to obey God's word is because they receive the letter without receiving the spirit. When you receive the spirit of the word of God, that spirit you know, imparts in you the capacity to obey the word of God. So the spirit of God is the power of God to do the will of God. He's our helper. He literally helps us to do anything. Anything and everything. All of this, you know, department of the spirit is available for you and available for us right here in this moment as we pour out our love to him i'd like you to receive the spirit of truth receive the spirit of life receive the spirit of love and receive the help of god receive the help of god i'll be the spirit help it our infirmity for we know not how to pray as we heart but the spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. He helps us to pray. He helps us to say to God what we can say to him in our own understanding. Lift up your hands and, and worship. Worship. Worship him. i like you to respond to the love of God. Respond to the love of God. Ura bida kosi la beya dose beya ha arogo puba bike bele koso prolata. You are all I want. You are the one I long for. My heart desire is to love you more and more. Hey. My heart desire is to love you more and more. Oh, fill my heart with love. Love. Oh, love for you. Let the fire of your passion burn in me. Jesus, fill my heart with love, love, oh, love for you. Let the fire of your passion burn in me. You are all. My desire is to love you more and more. Oh, oh, feel my heart with love. Love, Jesus, love for you. Let the fire of your passion burn. Sing it with me. You are all I want to say. You 
let the fire burn, let the fire burn, the fire of your love, the fire of your love, the fire of compassion, the fire of compassion. Oh Jesus, oh Rabbi, take it by your life. several reasons why people do what they do. There are a lot of people who are in ministry not because they love God. There are so many people who go to church not because they love God. They go because they have a need. People seek God because they have a need. But you see, God is looking for lovers. When you found, find love, when God's love is abundant in your life, there is nothing you want that you cannot have. Everything we do in the kingdom must be sponsored by love. That's what makes the difference. The result will be clear when love is the foundation of our actions. Love. 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 No wonder Paul the Apostle said in Hebrew chapter 13. Sorry, first Corinthians chapter 13. He says, Even if I put fire on myself and roast myself for somebody else, without love, without love, all of that is in vain. Love for God must be the foundation of the things we do. I'd like you to pray that prayer two more times. Sincerely from your heart, say with me, say, Lord, fill my heart with love for you. Love for you. Love for you. Declare it. Fill my heart with love. Fill my heart with love. Love. I'm praying from your heart. Fill my heart with love.
Ghost. Holy Ghost, take your place. Take your place. Holy Ghost, Iyala Pasa. Of death. Out of those 
I like you to receive whatever you tr you're trusting God for. This is the moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. God is healing. I like you to check yourself. You're sick in your body. Check right now. That infirmity is gone. That cancer is dead. That pain on your waist region, around your spine, spinal cord, every pain in your body, that knee pain, that pain of arthritis, is gone right now. I like you to check yourself. Healing is released for you. That long-standing migraine is arrested right now. Is arrested right now. I like you to receive. Receive right now. Just check yourself, check yourself. There is healing for you. There is deliverance for you. Something is walking out of your body. That demonic presence that has been oppressing your life and destiny is walking out right now. It's walking out right now. It's checking out of you right now. Your deliverance is right now. I proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And I proclaim the day of vengeance hey. against every action, acts of Satan, against every works of the devil. Amen. Vengeance. Your freedom is now. Amen. Just check yourself, check yourself. And as you check yourself, if you feel healed, you, you see that you are healed in your body. Or something happened to you. Or you just have a special encounter. I'd like you to go to the comment section and just declare it. I would like to hear your testimony in a moment, in a moment. Just go ahead and share your testimony. You have a testimony? Just follow that link on the screen right now. Follow that link, and then you will be live right here in the studio to share that testimony. Just go ahead. But something is happening. Something is changing. Hear this. Right now, right now, as I speak right now, as this word is proceeding, there's somebody that has been experiencing loss of memory. You are not who? You are a strong young person. But lost of memory. As if you are confused. You just lost everything. And when that happens, you just, you just, you know, lost yourself. God is restoring lost of memory. God is restoring your mind. Right now, right now, right now, there is restoration. You're watching me right now, you have, you know, a condition that the doctor told you, you know, because of your experience, you had a complication in pregnancy and then something happened and they said because of that you you may not be able to conceive i stand as one that has been sent and i speak the word of the lord and i want you to hear the word of the lord i proclaim i proclaim according to the time of life that which has been declared impossible by medical science, I decree according to the time of life. Will you receive this right now? Will you receive this right now? You will return with your testimony, your children in your hands. In the name of Jesus. There's a corrective surgery that is going on right now. In your system, there's a corrective surgery that is happening right now. 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 Yes, go ahead. Just share the testimony. Share the testimonies. Hear this. God is healing. 
God is healing your eyes. You have issues with your eyes. It's like blow vision. But right now, there is clarity. Right now, there is clarity. You have confirmed that even before the word came. That there is clarity. There is clarity. You see clearly right now. I proclaim and I declare. I enforce that liberty. I enforce that clarity right now. I establish that miracle right now. Yes, this. There's somebody you have been, you have been oppressed of Satan. And that oppression has affected your life in every way. Business crumble. Somebody posted against you. Somebody posted against your life. And from that time, things begin to go the downward motion. Downward way. Your business gone. You, you are, you, you're beginning to have issues even with your health. Your marriage. Who is it that said a thing? And it comes to pass when the Lord when the Lord commanded it not, he frustrated the tokens of liars. He made us divine as man. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Restoration is for you. Right? I proclaim restoration. Every arrow of downward motion that has been fired against you, I command them back to center. Back to center. Amen. A young man went to the village to, to introduce his wife to be to you know his, his, his uncle because his father was late. And the uncle told him, You can't marry. You cannot marry. He said, look, I'm ready to marry. He said, you cannot marry. He said, you have to wait for your brothers, your eldest brothers, your elder brothers to marry. He said, sir, I can't wait for them. He said, then go and marry, let's see. He left that place, returning to Abuja. The vehicle, his own car that he traveled with, didn't come back with him. Because on the road, the car backed down. Just, just went bad. They did, did everything to put it up. No way. They had to abandon the car on the road and then came with a public flag with his wife to be. When he got to Abuja, all the business doors closed against him. By reason of the satanic post against him, they shut the doors of his business. When his wife to, to be saw trouble, she ran away. So the man lost his business contact. He will call them, they will answer. He will go there, they behave as if they don't know him. And then he lost the girl. No marriage, life scattered. And then one day, he was just wandering around. He didn't know where he was going. And then he heard the sound of worship. We were just holding a 90 minutes worship service. He heard the word, a sound of worship. And he said, what's happening in that place? And then he decided to walk in. He walked in. Nobody knew he, he was in. But he joined the worship. He, he stepped into an atmosphere of divine presence. God's presence is demonicide. Just like you have insecticide. You can't step into divine presence. And demons remain around you. Yokes are broken. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasure forevermore. That man stepped into divine presence. I didn't even know he was there. Nobody prayed for him. But see what happened. He, as soon as he stepped out, after the meeting, he stepped out of the gate of the venue. His, his phone started vibrating. Calls. When he checked it, one of his major clients, major business partners, they were calling. He was into travels, logistics. They started calling. He picked the phone. And the first question they asked him is, where have you been? We have been looking for you. 
The Bible says in those days, the veil shall be destroyed. The veil. There is a veil of darkness that the enemy can put on a person that makes people not to see him again. But as soon as he stepped into that presence, this veil was destroyed. Hallelujah. Thank you. And then business doors open. He ran back the next week to my office to share the testimony. That's when I met him. I never knew him before then. Maybe this testimony looked like yours, your story. You have been operating under that demonic oppression. There was a young man who traveled to the village, one of my mentees. And then I didn't even know that he traveled. I didn't know. He didn't tell me. But I just woke up one morning. I was burning in my heart. I was worried. So in the evening of that day, I called him. Where are you? He didn't pick it. Then he called me back. He said, sorry, sir. I, I was in the bathroom. I just returned from a journey. He just returned from a journey. He went to the village to build for his parents. He was building a structure. And as he was returned, he said they had a lot of confrontation. And then they started having bad dreams. They saw one of their old persons there, somebody who, who didn't want them to build that house, boasting against them. Not physically now, but spiritually in the dream. That you, you came to build. We will see. His sister saw it, called him. And then God sent the signal to me. I called him, I prayed with him. Then he told, I just prayed with him generally, pre preservation. Then he told me, I just came back from village. I said, oh, I understand why, why God wanted, wanted me to pray with you. Seven days after that day, the man was laid to rest. The one who boasted against him was buried. He told me, he said, that man is a notable witch. They know him in the city. Wherever you are right now, they have boasted against you. That spell that they released against you, that same spell is returned back to sender. Amen. Whatever it is they thought in their heart concerning you, it begins to be their experience right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is, there is a lady right now, you, 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 have, you, you, you have lost your menstruation for a while right now. You know, you can't see your flow. But right now as we speak, there is a return of the flow. There is a return of the flow. There is a return of the, of the flow. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power. Whatever says your blood will not flow. The blood of Jesus is against it right now. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. I like you to share your testimony. Things are happening everywhere around the world. Things are happening. Things are happening. Whatever your experience is, I like you to share it. In a moment, I'm going to permit you to come up to share that testimony. Something is changing. Something is changing. From there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is There is power to save, power to heal, power to deliver, power to lift up, power to turn things around, power for change, power for sound health, power for financial breakthroughs, power for prosperity. There is power, mighty, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, 
so pala take it back it reggae the somebody pray the holy ghost pray the holy ghost pray the holy ghost watch this watch this there is a growth that is dissolving right now that has been dissolved a growth a growth in the neck area a growth in the neck area that is being dissolved right now dissolved melted by the spirit a growth in your body whatever part of your body i proclaim that that growth is dissolved right now dissolved right now do we have people who have testimony here please let me know let me know because want to come if there are people yeah if we have the written testimony of people who are already live who want to share their testimony let's have them up right now something is changing something is turning for there is power mighty in the blood of jesus christ there is power Can see somebody online coming up online is that person with a testimony please let the person come up right now the person can come up right now if you can hear the voice let's hear the testimony of what god is doing right now evil right now the power of god is still moving there's a move of the spirit everywhere is she up with our testimony right now Thank you, Lord Jesus. She's up. She's up. Uh, please, let's hear your testimony very quickly, as sharply as you can. Let's hear the testimony. I like you to just keep on just keep on looking onto him just fix your eyes on him fix your eyes on him fix your eyes on him okay sister Helen is up please let's hear your testimony very quickly Hallelujah. Praise God. You're welcome, Helen. I can hear you. Go ahead and My, share it. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Helen Kasioka. Go ahead. Yes, I'm from Kenya, but now I'm in Bahrain working. You're welcome. And today, today I woke up with a severe stomachache. Go but as we as we were worshiping and praying, I I said I told the Holy Spirit to 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 bring li to bring life to my body. And all of a sudden my the stomach pain that happened from morning till now it has disappeared it's and I give glory to God. I'm so grateful to God for healing me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Can you celebrate God for that? The stomach pain is gone. It's gone, it's gone. For there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is higher above all other names. 
prophesy over anyone with any kind of pain. The same power, the same power, the same power that healed that woman. Sister Helen, I decree that pain in your body also is arrested by that same power. In the name of Jesus. I just saw a testimony of somebody who said, the devil is leaving me right now. The devil is just left. I saw the testimony just now. Devils are checking out of people. I said devils are checking out of people. He said things are changing in my life now. All devils are leaving me. They are leaving. They are leaving. They go forever. They can't stand. They can't stand divine presence. Lift up your hands and bless them. Okay, Mr. Bobby, you're welcome. You have a testimony? Yeah. Go ahead and share your testimony. We are in divine presence. Go ahead, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I woke up this morning with a mysterious back pain. Say that again. It like came online. I noticed. I woke up this morning with a mysterious back pain. A severe back pain. Okay. Yeah. So when I when I came online, I noticed we have a live program going on, That's and right. um, there was praises, and you made a declaration about somebody that had a pain on the lower waist. That's right. And the person should receive that healing, and I claimed it. Oh, I asked us to check, and I begin to check. And there was a total healing as I'm talking to you to the glory of God. No glory. more pain. Glory, no glory, glory. Pain. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Only God can do a thing like this. It's above every other pain, every pain. Your name is Jesus. Jesus. Your, Your name, name is Lord. Your name is high. Your name is higher. Your name is Lord. Your name is Lord. Your name is Lord. Hear this. There are people who are receiving the fruit of the womb right now. Right now in the place of worship. You are receiving it right now. You are receiving the fruit of the womb. Right now as I speak. The fruit of the womb. The fruit of the womb. You are coming up with your children. Okay, we have to start preaching. Princess, you are eating. <laughs> Praise God. Alright, if you are aunt. <laughs> You didn't know you are already on the studio. Go ahead. You have a testimony. Step. Not, not really testimony. Okay. But I'm, I'm just. You are that one person that I, I wake up every day. Anyway, let me say hi. God bless you. You are you. God honor you. You are an inspiration to me. Um, anytime I listen to your song, I enter into another realm of the spirit. I wake up with your song. I sleep with your song. I meditate on your song. It, you know when I you know follow you on YouTube. So and I quickly just say, oh, anytime you're online, it pops up for me. I say, know what? Glory to God. I have to just connect with you. Glory to God. Thank you so very much for what you're doing. Your song has healed souls. Your song has been an inspiration to me, especially Glory, I'm talking Glory, of myself Glory. and I know other people as well. Glory. And you know, have been able to, you know, understand and resonate with what you're doing. God bless you and honor you. Just lift God up your hands wherever you're right now. Lift up your hands wherever you are. I speak the blessing of God upon you. Amen. I release the anointing of God Amen. over you right now, where you are. I decree every department of your life. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. In the name of Jesus. 
Here is that long standing expectation, that long standing expectation. I decree it is released for you right now. It is released for you right now. And you will not lose anything. You are losing nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, celebrate God, everyone. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. God is, there's a move of the Spirit in this place. There's a move of the Spirit in this place. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. wonderful. Olu is up for our testimony. Can you hear me, Olu? I can hear you, okay. sir. Good morning, sir. You have a testimony? I, I just wanted to share this testimony. Please go ahead. To the glory yes. of the Lord and to the shame of the devil. Oh, shaka, I'm happy. Lower waist back pain. And um, yesterday got really bad. So um, I was looking on the internet to see exactly what could be responsible for this pain because I've done x-rays and everything looked okay and um you know they were suggesting that maybe it could be fibromyalgia and i was rejecting it and so this morning as i woke up i was like you know what let me turn into my ballroom to pray and that was usually when i'm praying i have music on and that was how i stumbled on this program that's right you know and i started to listen and follow the worship and then the word of knowledge came that there's somebody with spinal cord um, and lower waist um, right. that God is healing That's and right. I just received it right there and there That's you said right. we should check I checked usually when I lie down and I sleep on uh, I lie down I can actually feel the pain in my waist oh, and sure. sometimes in my thighs and I check to the glory of God that pain is gone and it's gone forever so I just want to it's gone to forever God, you know, lift up your hands lift up your hands lift up your hands wherever you are just lift up your hands I know you as a father I know you as a healer oh, praise yes. the Lord lift up your hands right now wherever you are I proclaim the perfection of that healing Amen. perfection of that healing Amen. perfection of that healing Amen. somebody celebrate God celebrate God Celebrate God. Celebrate God. God is healing people across the nations. Across the nations, everywhere. Healing anointing is everywhere. That person that, that person that has been having blood vision. I like you to check yourself because your eyes are clear. Hallelujah. Yes, deaf, deafness of ear, partial deafness, complete deafness is completely healed right now. Right now, as I speak right now, it is healed. It is healed. I like you to check yourself. Whatever it is, just check yourself. Even what is not mentioned here, what is not mentioned here, is being healed. Just check it. Whatever the affliction is, check yourself right now. Kabali do kopole kopole teke pahada. Ereke teke 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 peto kopo shoko toko ba. Ereke teke pe teke pe teke pahada. Ako suprale teke pe la hasa. You are mighty, dear Lord. You are mighty, dear Lord. Jehovah, you are mighty. Jesus, you are mighty. Mighty are you, Lord. You are mighty, dear Lord. You are mighty, dear Lord. Jehovah, you are mighty. Father, you are mighty. Jesus, you are mighty. Savior, you are mighty. No one like you. There is no one like you. Go 
Just lift up your hands and bless him. None like 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 him. Just, just very quickly. Just very quickly. You are here. Wherever you are watching from. And you need to make your life. Your, your, your ways right with Jesus. You need Jesus in your life. The greatest miracles that, miracle that can happen to you. Is a miracle of salvation. And God wants you saved. He loves you so much. I'd like you wherever you are to say these words with me. Put your right hand on your chest. You can also leave a comment. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. You can leave that comment there. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Put your right hand on your chest. Say with me, say in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, today I surrender my spirit, my soul, and my body unto you. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Take your place in my heart. In the name of Jesus. From today, I live my life for you. Forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. I proclaim your establishment in Christ. And I release upon you the spirit of grace. Grace to walk with God in love. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people who are receiving the baptism of the Spirit right now. There's a release of the baptism of the Spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. You have not spoken in tongues before. The power is coming on you. Somebody pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Spirit pray to the Father. The greatest miracle today is the establishment of your soul in Christ by the ministry of the Spirit. And the Holy Ghost is released right now upon you. Watch this. You know, you know one of the reasons you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost in your life. We have just heard when I share that the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. He's the spirit of life. He's the spirit of love. And is the help of men. It's the ability of God at work in men to do the will of God. You need the Holy Ghost. One of the ways the Holy Ghost helps us is he, he helps us to pray aright. The scriptures say we know not how we should pray as we ought to. But the Spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. So the Holy Ghost can help you to pray. He says to God what you cannot say in your understanding. Sometimes ago, I was in worship in my office. Intense worship and I worship in the Spirit abundantly. I felt the re mighty release of God's presence. I was alone in that place. Worshipping in the Spirit. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Worshipping in the Holy Ghost. In tongues. And then suddenly I noticed two people standing outside. You know, my office by the door. They were just there for a while. And I perceived probably they wanted to see me. But I was in intense worship, you know, praying in the Holy Ghost extensively, just praying in the Spirit. And then I decided to, you know, to, you know, give attention to them. So I opened the door and I saw them. I said, oh, you've been waiting here. They said, yes. They said, sorry, I've been in worship. They said, well, that, they, that they, they told me they didn't really want to see me, but that they were amazed what was happening. So they decided to just stand by the door and just observe. I said, what, what, what were they observing? 
They say when they came around the office, they felt the presence of God. And then they, they heard me speaking their native language. I was speaking their core native language. And they know who I am. They know, you know, my language. They know that, you no, know, this person does not, is not from our place. So they came to the door and just observed that I was speaking their language fluently. So I asked them, I said, what was I saying? They said, I was calling nature and creation. The moon, the stars, the sun, the sea, the birds in the head, the fishes in the sea. And then I will pause at, you know, interval and say and declare that all of these things, oh God, are the evidence of your reality. Those are my words in tongues to God. I didn't know I was saying those things. I was just praying in tongues, but they heard me say those. That was the very first time I heard such kind of expression. That's what happens when we pray in the spirit. The Holy Ghost speaks to God what he wants to hear. He communicates to God effectively. He helps us to praise God. No wonder Paul says, He that prayed in the spirit, give it thanks where? Your thanksgiving is perfect when you do it in the spirit. That's why you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So lift up your two hands wherever you are. The power of God is coming on you right now. The fire of God is coming on you. It's coming on you. It's coming on you. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Re receive the Holy Ghost. Spirit pray. Pray to the Father. Let him pray. Spirit pray. Is on you right now. Spirit pray. Pray. Pray to the Father. Spirit pray. Rise up from within, within, within me. Rise up from within. The Bible says, Out of you shall flow rivers of the living waters. Lift up your voice and pray. Say, Lord, rise up from within me. Rise up from within me. Let the rivers flow. The river is flowing on you and through you right now. Rise up from within. Rise up from within. Rise up from within. Receive the help of God, honey. And the blessing, receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. The Holy Ghost is on that vision. Receive the help of God. Rise up from within. Rise up from within. Rise up from within. Rise up from from within. God is arresting the spirit of timidity. And fear is arrested by the spirit of God. Boldness is released. Boldness is released. Rise up from Lift up your two hands right now. The scripture says, Matthew 18 and verse 18. We're just going to do this. I will try to round off today. What is that thing in your life that you don't like? You don't like it. 
if you don't like it then you don't that thing don't need to stay you don't need to permit it you don't need to have it you don't need to have it that way if you don't like it you don't need to have it that way the Bible says whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven a translation say whatsoever you permit or rather whatsoever you prohibit on earth is prohibited in heaven whatsoever you disallow on earth is disallowed in heaven you don't have to have that situation that way and right now whatever it is is changing right now but I need you to voice it out whatever that matter he said in the name of Jesus I reject you I reject barrenness I reject sickness I reject poverty I reject delay I reject stagnation I, re I reject backward motion I reject every form of oppression reject it right now raise your voice this is not the time to keep quiet I reject it Eric, I need, you, I need you to just raise your voice and rebook that sickness. Rebook that sickness. Reject it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then the scriptures say, whatsoever you allow on earth is allowed in heaven what is it that you desire you want to experience i like you to enforce it right now the scriptures say you shall have whatsoever you say i like you to enforce it right now in the name of jesus i declare i declare in the name of jesus the wisdom of god is at work in me i declare in the name of jesus i'm rising i'm rising in the name of Jesus, I rise into the fullness of God's plan and purpose for my life. In the name of Jesus, I'm moving forward. I am sound in my health. I am sound in my mind. I am sound in my spirit. In the name of Jesus, I receive my marital breakthrough. I receive my financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I am sound in my, in my spirit. Whatever it is, I'd like you to declare it. Whatever you desire. I declare the power of God is at work in me. The power of God is at work in me. Thank you, Lord. Take control. Spirit, have your way. Spirit, take control. Receive your babies. Receive, receive your healing. Receive your new job. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the baptism of grace. Take control. Spirit, have your way. today in this atmosphere of God's presence. Amen. In this atmosphere of God's presence. I'd like you to go from here conscious 
of the fact that God is all over you, is at work in you, is alive in you, he is all over you. I'd like you to lift up your right hand and say these words with me. I'd like you to say it boldly, declare it with understanding and boldly from your heart. Say it with me, say in the name of Jesus. Shout it loud, say in the name of Jesus. I declare. I am born of God, elected by grace, a priest of the royal lineage. I am peculiar. I am holy. I am the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus, I'm a king, a God on earth, an ambassador of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I am led by the Spirit. I have the unction of the Holy One. I know all things. The greater one lives in me walks in me and is with me. I am indestructible, irresistible and unstoppable. I am blessed, protected, defended, surrounded and protected by favor. I subdue territories. I take nations for my Lord. I am light and I'm shining. I go forward and upward, greater and higher. Better, better and better, and better. In, the in the name of Jesus. Say, God is alive in me. God is at work in me. God is all over me. Go ahead and celebrate God. Celebrate God. Whoa. Something. Something is changing. Something is moving.